Good morning, campers. This is Crusader Rabbit KBNY5962 starting our broadcasting day. And today, for your viewer enjoyment, we're going to bring you uh, one of the members of our Rolly family, the uh, Rolly 35TE. Uh, Rolly, Rolly 35TE was made uh, approximately, started production in... November of 1979 and continued through production until uh, September of uh, 1981. The uh, starting uh, uh, starting sale price of the uh, Rolly 35TE was just about $150 US and at the end of its uh, like sell-off of its uh, remaining remaining stock on hand it was selling for about a hundred dollars us in uh, 1983 uh the uh, rolly 35 has a the uh the uh, t model has the uh 3.5 40 millimeter uh carl zeiss uh, tessar lens uh carl zeiss uh, licensed uh and uh it too, Rolly, and uh, this this is made by uh, made by Rolly. The design is a Carl Zeiss design, and it's a uh, uh, it's a it's a viewfinder camera. There's uh, the all of the focusing is is done uh, via this uh, um, distance meter. Uh, or, or distance scale on the on the lens itself uh, as you can see right now it'd be focused to infinity and it goes down to uh, about three feet and then uh, if you're using something like uh, sunny 16 or if you have your uh, aperture set for for f16 then if you take for instance your Infinity mark and put it at that that one on 16 um, Anything between uh, two meters or about six feet and infinity uh, should should be in focus so uh, This is the uh, uh, back of the camera uh, Right 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 here is a little lever that you you would you would take and uh, move this up when you go to rewind your film and in the uh, shooting position uh, this stays down uh, this is your uh, viewfinder here, and there's a, uh, a light meter. It has like a LED readout on the inside. Hoping to get the uh, there. You you can see how it's uh, indicating like a, a a low light. And if we uh, open it up. Maybe we can get it to uh, be pressed down part way. Let's see where are we at uh, at here. There's three LEDs on the uh, inside. Uh, I, I think what it's showing is is that there's uh, just uh, not enough light to. Uh, Make any reading at all? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, uh, there, there, there is like a green light that'll show in the middle when you have the uh, proper aperture. So, uh, anyway, so that's that's where the light meter is. The uh, light meter is activated by pressing part way down on the uh, on the uh, shutter release, and your shutter speeds are set right over here on on, on this wheel on the. Uh, front of the camera front of the camera this wheel right here has your shutter speeds goes anywhere from uh, one five hundredth of a second uh, all the way down to uh, a half of a second with the uh, also with the uh, bulb setting uh, so it uh, like a so you can listen to some of these uh, speeds is five hundredth of a second uh, 250th of a second, 
125th of a second. Sixtieth of a second, thirtieth of a second, fifteenth of a second, a little longer there, eighth of a second. Yeah, I don't think these are accurate. There's uh, two speed mechanisms. Uh, there's two internal mechanical mechanisms for controlling the uh, shutter speed. One operates the one 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 mechanism operates all the speeds above a sixtieth of a second, and the other mechanism operates all the speeds uh, one thirtieth of a second and below. On this particular camera, I believe the uh, mechanism that operates uh, the one thirtieth of a second and below, I don't, I don't believe those are uh, operating properly. I think they're all slow. Uh, on the uh, front of the sh shutter speed is the uh, just, just kind of like a little uh, re reminder for you for you know what kind of film you have in the camera. There's a um, really, you know, no, no setting that's, uh, it's, it's, it's just a little friendly reminder. Uh, over here, we have the, uh, aperture setting. It goes from, uh, F22 down to, uh, F3.5. And if we look in here, you can see it, uh, you can see it open up and close down. So that's F22, full open. And then close down to f3.5. And uh, this is the uh, sensor for the uh, for the light meter. Uh, this little button here is the mechanism that uh, allows you to uh, retract the lens. So you just kind of push it down. Give it a little twist, and the lens slides into the body. And then when you go to uh, expand the lens, uh, you just bring it out to its uh, maximum distance, and then you and then you give it like a very very slight turn clockwise, and that locks the lens in, in, into place. The uh, Lens will will not retract unless the sh the camera is is cocked. There's actually uh, two uh, aperture um, mechanisms, and uh, there when you're uh, cocking it, it, it kind of uh, takes those and moves whatever the gearing is in order to do that out 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 of the way that allows the um, lens to to that to then retract and uh, if it's if, if, if the camera is not cocked then the lens cannot retract and uh, when the lens is in a uh, when, when the lens is it was in it was is into the body uh, you cannot release the shutter uh, let's see uh, this, so this is the shutter release right here. Uh, this door right here is the battery compartment. You just uh, move this uh, little lever here over the side. And that uh, the batteries that originally fit in here were no longer... environmentally correct so uh, this is the environment environmentally correct version I think it was like a 5.7 volt battery initially but this is uh, the s27 px is a uh, 6 volt and it, and it fits and uh, gives you uh, 
reasonable results as you'll see when I uh, show the pictures at the end of the video. And we've uh, looked through the uh, viewfinder. It's a nice, great, big, bright viewfinder. And on the bottom of the camera, you have your uh, film rewind lever right here. So this comes out, and you have a little uh, arrow right there. It tells you like what direction to uh, rewind in. Again, when you uh, want to rewind, you have to take and move that little lever to the R position for rewind. This is your uh, counter for how many pictures you've taken. And this right here is a lever that uh, releases the, the film back. Because this is how you would uh, load the camera. So there's your film back. And then uh, those are your internal lens workings. And uh, the, your, your, your film would go in here and then wrap around. And this is like the take up reel. Get the uh, film back on here. Kind of challenging to do on camera. Thought I might have to uh, go off camera to do that, but that worked out. So you uh, put that back into place, and then you uh, take this and you put that there, and then the, the film back is, is is then locked. The way the uh, uh, camera back uh, goes in, there's uh, um, no... Uh, um, light uh, material in there. Um, it just provides enough of a uh, dark seal the way that's uh, engineered so that you don't have to worry about uh, light seals going bad because there are no light seals. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. And that's, uh, I think that's about it. This uh, so uh, made by Raleigh in uh, manufactured in in Singapore. Oh, this this, this right here is the uh, um, uh, film advance lever. So film advance and then shutter release, and it's kind of backwards from uh, any any other camera, right? It's like any other camera. You take your film, you put it in here, and then your take up spool would be over here. Then your rewind would be over here. Here you uh, take uh, your film, you put it here, it comes over here, your take-up spool is over here, and this is your film rewind here. Uh, the effect of that is that your, uh, your, your, your pictures on your uh, negatives will be uh, upside down in relation to the uh, printed material that is also on your negatives, like on the film sprocket uh, part of the of the role where it might say you know like you know Kodak or Ilford and at the top and then on on the bottom it's going to say you know frame number one frame number two frame number three uh, yeah that's going to be uh, like upside down because your film's going the other way it's it's being transported the other way and and that's uh, oh and then uh, this is like the uh, handy uh, handy handy wrist strap. So that you don't drop your camera, but as you can see, this camera has been uh, not uh, not too badly handled. It it has some little dings and dents on it, and I was able to get it to an, for, for for a nice price for that. But it had a working light meter, which was uh, uh, real plus. And uh, I think that's where I'm going to end uh, this part of the video. So please stick around for the uh, end of the video where I'll uh, show you some of the pictures that I took when I went for a walk around of the neighborhood uh, with this camera this afternoon. Uh, so for, for right now, uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the show. This is Crusader Rabbit KBNY5962 ending your broadcasting day. Uh, good night, campers.